Hey guys, Tatra here bringing you A2 today. We're on Wolfies. Same thing spawning on the left, we've got Nima Frosch with OKW who has elite armoured Luftwaffe ground forces. Oh, and uh, Overwatch. With him is SHT C and T. Well, uh, I can guess what that is. Uh, who has, also with OKW who has Overwatch, elite armoured and Firestorm. Are you going to start moving here? It's a bit of a worry. On the right hand side we've got Rollick with Soviets who has mechanized support, guard motor and defensive. And finally the glory with Soviets as well, also blocking into defensive. In terms of rankings, random team on both sides. Uh just coming in having win this fight, let's have a look. Here, Rolic 65, the Glory uh, 120, Nima rank 5, and SHT is uh, not quite in the top 200. I'm gonna give this one a go. Back and away here. A bit low. We got an M3 coming out for the glory, but Google's already back at base, so nothing really for it to chase down immediately. Yeah, I think, you know, good idea for one of these Soviet players to go for a tier 1 start. Beats the double OKW. Bad engagement here for the combat engineers. Quick retreat. Jump onto the other side of the cover, there they go. Let's have to be careful with the Kubel here. M3 comes in from the side. Also have to be careful with the M3, he doesn't get close to these uh, base flex. Good over here for the glory, but the allies are losing control on the other side of the map while this is happening, so... It's not all good news. But they might be able to secure double fuel here. It's one of the big things about Wolfies. Double Nini on one side, double fuel on the other. Could lead to some pretty fast light vehicles for the allies. If we manage to keep this up. as well for SHT. He, did he only just build this now? He's, he's got no vet on it. Very bad choice. There's already M3 on the field. To get it so late. It needs to be at, at worst you're like second unit you construct I think on the Kubel. Kissing in the build for SHT. That's fine. Let's try and help counter the M3. I'm not opposed to that. Off for kittens. Here comes one for Nima. Connects once. And three's pretty fast getting out of there. Now uh, fighting strongly, forcing them way back onto the fuel. Getting a lot of ground. Needs to maybe send the Kubel over here. Do the capping. Looks like he's going to spend some time, wi time wiring this off though. That's all right. M3 is repairing up out the back. Three penals. I feel like I've seen this a lot from Soviet players recently, right? Last few casts. No second combat engineer. And heavier on the penals. Coming up now for SHT. He's gone for a Jaeger Light now as well. Bad Rakitten angling. And now under fire from the Penals. Just 
which ends up retreating. Luckily his teammates are kidding us there. That misses its shot though. He's coming back in. Yeah, we did pull back with the Rakesh and he's, he's having a micro on both fronts at the moment. Causing himself some issues. There's an incendiary out. Kubel comes in for a bit of damage. And ultimately the Axis do lose on the side. SHT with that bad raquette positioning not helping the matter. The lights coming out now. Don't have the uh, headquarters completed. The mechanized upgrade yet, so can upgrade the G43. So I tried to minimize taking fights until that came up. And especially you don't want to be fighting out in the open in a three on one. Bad engagement there for SHT. Some false Jaeger meanwhile from Nima. They're doing some nice work against these conscripts. There's a four conscripts start from Rollock. Imagine to get down onto this cutoff again. The Allies really harassing the Axis fuel. And we've got tier three completed now for Rollock. Could start a T70 right now. And that'll be a really fast one. Just his timing by a little bit here. And then Senior Grenade. Nima throwing a lot of those out here. I suppose in this situation, forcing a squad off your cutoff like this can help you secure a lot of resources earlier. So maybe it'll pay itself off. Missing a faster retreat. Merging into the flamethrower unit. Still looks like the Fosham Jaeger are going to win. Pretty quick to get up to VIT-1 as well on those. Not going to hear all sorts of stuff. Both the Soviets going for defensive. With those unlocks going playing for Rollick there. Oh wow, a sniper now from the glory. After he's already seen the Jaeger light, eh? Alright. Still got this alive, the M3A1. This is maybe the time of the match where I consider just using this very defensively. Using it for recon, maybe doing some back capping with it. Ooh. Who hits a mine? Goes down. Nice move there from Rollick. What is it? Did they wire this building off? No. Why wasn't he inside the building with one of these conscript squads? Got the flamer coming up here. Oh boy. What was the sniper doing that way? So far forwards. Trying to hide away from this T70. Rakitin is coming in now. Quite a lot of low health models here. So he's going to make a play for the central VP. Trying to bait the T70 maybe more into the open. I'm surprised they managed to get a shot through there. That was impressive. Heavy cover though against this flame. Well, that's not ideal. He's going to throw his own incendiary there. Sniper's now coming more into the middle. Jumps out. It's suppressed. Good angle there for the dish guy. I think if he just jumped out, didn't run so far forwards, he probably could have sneaked around the side here, but... That's alright. Whoa! This is a late flak half track. Alright. Well quite often they do hit later, like 
you know, eight and a half minutes ish. But ten minutes. Well, it will help maybe contain these penals, maybe force a couple of them to upgrade PTR races. So there we go. T3 only coming up now for the glory, quite late. Also we are around the corner on the machine gun. Not going to happen, gets pinned. But again, the allies do manage to decap that cutoff. It's going to be like the fourth time it's happened this game. A very good job of that. It's just uh, going to be way behind on fuel. Does eventually, you know, break through your suppression here. Brings up a follow-up squad. Machine gun gets overwhelmed. Good rocket in positioning, though. Obviously back the T-70. Got the Falschium Jäger coming in. The disc is pulling right the way back for Rock. Maybe need to stay in a more... Advanced position. We do have some squads coming in from the side. Throws a Molotov. And that's uh, pretty good, actually. Even try to sneak in behind this hitch, getting a incendiary grenade in. Suppress really fast, though, and it shortens his range, so he doesn't quite manage it. Really fast suppression there from the Dishka. Oh my. He's building a flak, covering the cutoff. It's maybe a tiny bit far forward, I mean now back. Not entirely covering it. They might be able to sneak right onto the edge of that, but that's something you don't see too often. Maybe it's a decent idea in this situation as well, given all the cutoffs that have happened. That's pretty easy to defend back here. It is cheaper than building a uh, flak out track in terms of fuel. A heavy mortar now for Rollick. Just out of the building, maybe worried about getting grenaded by the Potion Jaeger. Let's have the flamethrower squad right there as well, so it's not like Nima can really uh, control the building. Has to back up for repairs now on the T70 though. A little push down. early from the glory there with the sniper. Do you see when he comes back in? Did he force the rocket? Yeah, he did. He forced the rocket into retreat. Maybe with the heavy mortar. So that's a green light for the sniper to come back in. And uh, T70, even though it's not at uh, full health. Do you cruise the disc here? A lot of squads here. This is going to be tough for Rock to hold on to. Maybe he needs to bring his T70 in. He's a bit slow. The Rakitin is near. So that disc is going to be stolen. It's a while to get out of there, but it's very healthy, all the mobs that are carrying the gun. Not good for Rollick turning over that dish cut. Nice kill on the sandbags and nine the cover. Pushing down on the side. This is maybe where the M3 could be going out to the side. Doing some capping now that's fitted up. Obviously, it's needing repairs now, but something to look for once it's at this stage of it. It's got that capture uh, mode. Oh, decrease the machine gun with the sniper. Only five kills on the sniper. It's off to a bit of a slow start. Misses that shot. It does have a tough, you know, opponent with two Jaeger lights. Makes it very dangerous for the sniper. Looks like uh, the next tech building coming in for SHT. We've already got one in construction for Nima back here. Quite defensive, not even covering like a fuel point or anything. Let's have a uh, nice cheek in the wood now. It's got a few good hits around these sandbags. Sniper in some trouble. Jaeger's sprinting in from the side. There's some potential for a wipe there. T3 
34 standing by. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Okay, the T-34 is coming in. Decent timing, 15-ish minutes. Could have been earlier though, you can see. Kind of fuel after this. Went for a M42, by the way, the glory. I think that's a mistake. I suppose he is tier one. Maybe could have just spent that manpower on more vehicles. Faster vehicles. Wasn't for a bit of a crush, but well time retreat from SHT doesn't allow that. And now maybe gonna do the capping with the M3, I hope so. That's what we like to see. T70 coming in, doing a bit of damage here. Falsh Mega caught out. Taking quite a lot of damage. They popped the uh, second dose of FG42s. There's the M42, gets one shot in. Still got that MG up for grabs over there. No has authorization yet, so the flak base not offering any protection. So we're getting some hits in as well. A lot of damage on the T-34. Now SG's working nicely against this formation. It's a T-34 from Rollick now as well. knows this yet so I think that's fine if he had a this he maybe even could could have considered going straight for the yeah, execution in this kind of situation with the axis being so far behind on fuel and they also invested you know a decent amount into support weapons the double AT guns double machine guns ISG Many good targets for a Kachusha Work. Doing that raw. No, is this at all? Pushing down onto the fuel. Did get all that uh, sandbag wire off, and this is where it's paying dividends for Nima. Means the conscripts can't stay up here for any duration of time. It was a close one. Oh, speaking of Kachushas, sounds like the Glory's got one. Spraying out the back here though. One kill on the machine gun. Really long range, a lot of scatter. Didn't hit too much. Got a sweeper now for the glory. To get to repair that up, maybe it took a rocket and shot. Oh, there goes the sniper, the Jaeger Light's getting it. Well done there by SHT. Not easy to keep your sniper alive with two Jaeger lights on the field. You're really on top of your game. At the moment, the Axis are in control of two of the VPs, which is. A little bit surprising given their position. And the uh, 12 ground point abilities start to unlock now. And a lot of team weapons back here. The Kachusha is coming right the way forwards. <laughs> Dangerously far forwards. So the kittens are rotating. One of them are retreating. Ooh, that was a nasty shot. Two or three models going down to that last T-34 hit. Let's see, squad wipe. Let's have this Panzer authorization unlocked. Could. Oh wow, he had to spend all that manpower on reinforcing. I was going to say, maybe he could push out a tank right now, but. He's uh, going for reinforcing first. Speaking of tanks, though, Nima's got one now. Is this coming in? So it's the T-34 and the T-70. There's the Kachusha going after the machine gun. Still on the 
Ciężkie. It's away though. It's neutralized on the VP. Extra kitten, VIT 2 now. This felt like it took an age to line up a shot there. Maybe it had to reload first. A little push here from SHT. Oh, we need T gun left behind here. Whoopsie daisy from the glory. Something that's going to be turned over. Not a lot of our squads nearby either. Kitten's a little bit out of position though, should be up here supporting the infantry. But there's a Katusha now from Rollick. Doesn't hit too much though, so far not so good for these Katushas of the double Soviet team. Haven't been getting much done, didn't steal that AT and didn't salvage it or kill it either. Very uh, lucky. I think he hit retreat and uh, received accuracy bonus from retreat. Stopped that G43 shot from landing. Moving a squad right there, otherwise, I'm pretty sure. Coming in. Enemy forces capturing supply gun sector. getting out of there. Oh, wow, that was really good scatter. That seconds this shot. Drive it home. Dangerous repairs there on the front lines. Third tech truck coming in for Nima. Maybe we've gone for the walking Stuka, if I had to guess. Second T-34 meanwhile from the glory. This is a lot of vehicle pressure. We need the Rakitans of SHT to be in better positions. So far the Rakitan positioning has been very underwhelming. But same story for the Katushas. This one up to five kills now after four barrages I think. It's definitely uh, giving the access a lot of breathing room. The fact that these Katushas are missing time and time again. But they are down. About to tick under 250 VPs here. Oops, in the retreat there. Good flank. Just go rolling in. It's a panther first from SHT. Okay. Power up against Ram plus anti-tank overwatch. Maybe this will be the day the Panthers' armor actually bounces the Rams. Let's find out. The close call there. Oh, he's still got this, by the way. Can still do some capping. Or just for vision. It's also a very good vision tool. So it's a bit too. Especially if your enemy's got, like, two machine guns. Like, SHT could have. Extra side range is very, very helpful. Ran into the uh, suppression there with the Jaeger lights. Around the far edge here. Did they miss a shot just then? It's double kittens now. I think the T34 will be alright. If this if this one was V2 as well though, that would have been very, very close to a kill. Oh, oh boy. Panther's making a dive. 
looking for rams, but it has to turn so the ram doesn't work at all. What was this tank doing? How did it die even? Double of kittens, I guess. Seems like it's wasn't moving now. The double of kittens are rolling in. Knocks out the Katusha, the M3A1. What is he doing? This is uh, some terrible vehicle control. He drops the tank overwatch but without uh, engine damage. It's not really doing much. Quite late activating it. Oh no, he was running the whole time. Didn't look like it was. Well, that was some really bad T-34 play from the glory. I will say that. Oh, Rakitin got decrewed over here, though. Went into the flat base, though, with this trying to steal, it looks like. Gonna be able to steal the Dishka back, though, at least. Yeah, those rams don't tend to work as well if the T-34 has to uh, go around a corner. Go around something that it can't crush through. Stop this momentum a lot. Stop the ram from connecting. It works out very well for SHT. And now you can see that the glory really has nothing can to contend with this uh flat calf track so it's doing a lot of big work huge amount of munitions for both the soviet players by the way i don't know if we've seen them plant any mines whatsoever maybe they just need to start spamming these anti-sync overwatches as well and stop holding them okay nima's the one to drop his loiter in Slower to start up though. Guys are on the back foot at the moment though. No anti air. Definitely one of them. Okay, yep. Core pops for the glory. Let's have to shoot down the planes now. Just got dead over here for a rollick. 35 right on the edge of the zone. Might actually get targeted here. Takes about half his health. Final plane did get shot down now. It's 35 coming in for the glory. I think this is the right call. Yeah, with two machine guns, two discus, three penals. Should have enough anti infantry to show up as anti tank. And here comes the Katusha now. These double of kittens, but they run through the rockets. They take a little bit of damage from it. Good reactions from Nima. Taking out on the edge. So it's looking to be a big VP reversal here with the Axis really taking control of the map after all those vehicle kills against the glory. And if you're the glory, you might want to just drop the anti tank overwatch here just to open up some space, force these tanks back a little bit. He's at that stage where, are they even going to be able to <laughs> use all of these before the game is over? Something you have to be considering. Looks like just pure aim move action here from the glory. Nice discus. Not ideal. The car track doing well on the edge now. The T34 though opening up the cap on the far side. Just going to get the suppression down. You should roll back out. It's just about ready to fire again. Oh, that's a big hit from the LEIG. Four on that now, 15 kills. It's been doing uh, some major damage. The uh, sandbags here helping the conscripts cap up, and Kino's getting the center as well. 
Next is slow. Bit of control on the edge. They're locking down those double munis. A lot more. Now their M3 has died, right? That's not as strong on the edge caps. Okay, goes after the LEIG with the Kachusha. Ooh, catches some uh, kittens running through that area as well. The P4 is quite low now, it's to back out for some repairs. Yeah, yeah, indeed it is a walking stook for Nima, I think that's the right call. A quick look at the KDs here. The glory is still doing pretty well with this penal build. Three five coming across here now. Oh boy, what is this? Oh man, that's a really bad tank handling on this ready five. He still doesn't have any mines down, by the way. I'm doing way too much freedom to the Panther. You can't have like zero mines down and zero PTRS penals while driving your SU 85 around like that. Some really bad tank handling from the glory. Coming up here. This is like prime territory for a mine, so if you haven't been up here with the sweeper lately, it's not I'll be driving. It does have the sweeper, but it's tucked away at the moment. SHT back at base as well. So what did that walking stuka hit? Well, three kills, it did alright. Nima very quick on the dodge. Ten kills so far for Rollick. Oh boy, Panther's making a move and the SU-85 facing the wrong direction again. This is unbelievable. Really, this is some of the worst tank handling I've seen. How does that happen? Five in a compromised position. Oh, there's a mine there though. Misses its first shot at close range. Nima dropping down the planes to try and make this safe. So this U85 is going to commit for the kill though. Meanwhile, Rollick's not paying attention. The double rocket and it's nailing him. Drops his anti-tank overwatch just to secure the kill. Maybe it wasn't entirely necessary. But yeah, very slow reaction to the double rocket and killing his T34 during all that carnage. He's up losing it. Rock's got some work to do now. Oh, where's he going? S-35 is coming out to this side, but he needs to be supporting his T-34 wherever that is. Another T-34 on the build for the glory. 900 munitions now, by the way. Oh, I didn't even notice this. That's a constructor bunker from the glory. Covering that point as well. Oh, the base garage. Got the mortar back there as well. Five kills. Two more after that, but it's alright. This 
is something. Gotta gain some vet. Colliding with the buildings as well. Okay, Panther's making a move. No support for the SU-85. At all. Both T-34's on the far side. Pretty safe though, being able to repair through that. Didn't probably need to retreat with those combat engineers. Close range barrage. Those Jaeger lights got off easy. That could have been way worse for them. The LAG still grabs back here. Didn't recruit it for a while. Nice use of the uh, recon. Got a little bit close though, but it's a good idea from Rollick. Who's uh, at his population limit now, by the way. Maybe he could cut, start uh, chucking down some bunkers himself. Here from the T-34, bit 3 on that bad boy now, 22 kills. Enemy forces are 23, one of them friendly fire just then. There's this barrage onto the Rakitans out the back, I think. Not doing too much to them though, Nima going to be able to keep them on the front. Want a mine just then? I'm not sure. Couldn't see it. Oh boy, flak after it goes down. The double T-34 is making a bit of a dive. And take Overwatch activated. The Panther's coming in. So are the planes though. Panther's blitzing. No way this Panther can escape here. So this goes down to the walking Stuka during this. The more instinct Overwatch dropped down. The Panther dies. I don't know if the second activation was necessary. Why is the T-70 all the way forwards here? They go down to the double kittens just then. Speaking of double kittens, though, they're getting Kachucha barraged. One of them is about to go down. What? Is 25 Rollick, why? What happened? Why is it dying back there? Is that facing the wrong direction again as well? Maybe had engine damage? I don't know. It seemed like uh, it should not have died. Looks like it was to the Rakitans of SHT as well. Yagpans are next from Mima. Remember Rollick used to have basically a hundred population and went down to 63 after that fight. Lost so much. There's this up here for recruit. Looks like he might be thinking about getting this Rakitten as well. To help him rebuild. Can take on the field now for SHT. He was on the field for a bit of that last fight as well. The sector is at risk. Now on the field. Is this getting one shot in though? Might be in a compromised position against these Falschimjägers. On a light cover though, not going to die that fast. Don't have much to stop this at the moment. So he was really going to press in and try to gain as much ground. Again, these vehicles keep driving, like turning and driving. Where's the reverse commands? The double Soviet team this game seems to be not handling their vehicles correctly. 
We can up here decrew though. They're going to be destroyed by the SU-85. Bit three on them now, actually. Shush out the back. I think maybe a little bit too easy for Nima to dodge, though. Using in that scenario. Is this here? Thought it might be in like reinforcing range, but oh, oh my goodness! The flanks from the glory and the Jagdpanzer goes down. What a move from the glory. Catching Nima trying to uh, advance the territory like that. Maybe this is where Nima needed a couple mines down through this area to uh, shut that down. Great play from the glory there. Nobody saw that one coming. Forcing their retreats. Another Yang Panzer from Nima. Probably still the right call. Use that long range firepower. Just need some good hits with the walking Stuka. That's up to 13 kills, and here it comes again. He's going after these capping units. Just dodge. Shows the Rakitin, though. Pretty good dodge, too. Well done by Rollick. Got the cap completed. 96 points left for the Axis. They're feeling desperate. He's back on the cap over there. They're going to need this King Tiger to get some work done, but it's going to be tough against all the anti-tank Overwatch activations that the Allies have up their sleeves. Can't believe the Glory's got a thousand munitions. Insane. Guys have had very good control of the muni points, so I will say that. Prioritize vehicles here, not shooting. Oh, that's a good Katusha, though. Forces are a kitten away. Just out of SU-85 range, maybe, with the Jagdpanzer. Panzer. A couple of cheeky shots in there, or maybe not. There's a concussive grenade. Back away with the Jagdpanzer now. Ocean Jaeger on top of the AT guns. T-34 switch inside. Still on prioritized vehicles. Maybe the Glory's going to try some move here. He's got his T-34s poised like he's going to go for some flanking, ramming type action. Oh, this is risky stuff here from Rollick. Trying to go for a crush. Luckily he didn't take another Jagdpanzer shot. Otherwise maybe the Shrek could have polished it off. There. Might have even been just like, oh, that's a big bundle grenade. He's got dead. Is this, he's going to kill this off so it doesn't fall into Axe's hands. Roll it. T-34 is going to switch sides. 58 points left for the Axis. Foshi Mega staying in the middle for the decap. Three tanks for the glory. Where's he sending them? He's up to his population limit. Rollick has built his way back up. He's pretty close to it again as well. All the way up from 62, I think it was, after their last fight. So they're coming out to this side, the T-34s. It's a decent start for the Kachusha looking to force away the machine gun. Here they come. Stuka looking for a bit of a counterattack. He's gonna need to get this out of here though. The T-34s are coming in thick and fast. Decent amount of damage done. The planes are coming in from Nima. Quad might be a little bit far away to target them effectively. Decrease the vets to Rakitin. Threw that off the plane, doing some big damage though to the T-34s. One of them goes down. Okay, the quad does get one of the planes now. They did drop one T-Tank Overwatch activation back here. It's fine. They've got so much munitions, might as well. T-34 
Tiger revealed there briefly. Takes some. Oh, Ober's dead here. Oh, and they steal the LMG as well. Tipping out on the edge there. 34 coming in. Leaves us on prioritized vehicles a lot. That's it off now. Panther next for SHT. He's got enough for his planes. Axis are down, but they're not out here. They just need uh, one good fight again. They're right back in the hunt. Wide lot down on population. About 40 behind. Double Jagdpanz is now for Nima. King Tiger's pushing right the way into the middle. And they're really struggling on this side. Take it. Getting blasted now by the WS-35s trying to operate in the middle. The King Tiger's can't land a shot. He's sitting in front of these S-85s for so long. The kit now returning fire. But a Katusha action. Jams the capture. 30 points left for the Axis. And he's probably going to have to pull the trigger on these planes here shortly. Okay, here we go. Four T-34s are coming in hot. They're dropping the anti-tank overwatch. Double anti-tank overwatch. 34 down. The Yagpans is backing away quickly enough, though. This move isn't working out too well for the Allies so far. Couple of interesting Overwatch shells landing on the Yagpans is now. The Allies are continuing their attack. There goes another T-34. He's going for the ram. He knocks out one Yagpanzer. The planes are down now for SHT. Human dead over here to the King Tiger. Black emplacement goes down as well. Trick. Has to reload. Oh, the Panther. Didn't know he had the angle there. Got a cheeky shot in. Sturmpai is dead though from SHT. And he's trying to go for a chase down on the S-35. Maybe the Panther can clean it up though. He's kind of getting baited into fighting the King Tiger. And that's allowing the Panther to sneak around the corner. And get the kill. His teammates, tanks now trying to come in to save the day. Neither of them have the anti-tank overwatch. So they can't do much about this here. Oh my god, the glory had like 100. Now he's down to 34. So many losses there. <laughs> that might have been a, a monstrous throw. Those are the kind of moves you dream of making in Company of Heroes when they go right. Uh, I think the Allies tried to force that. Didn't really see an opportunity. Nima quick backing away with the Jagdpanzer. Oh boy, and now the s 85 is taking engine damage right up here. He's bringing the quad in just for a bit of extra assistance. Oh, machine gun dead. Looks like the heavy mortar I think it was. Some dodge on the grenade. The concert struggling though against the Max Vet Falschenjäger. Oh, the heavy mortar doesn't struggle though. Okay, he's in here desperately capping. Oh, he left the circle 99% complete. What a mistake. Now against the allies, here comes the walking Stuka. Dodge again from Rollick though, he's, he's doing well on the dodging. 19 kills so far from the walking Stuka. And there's a back in the center. He could have had this decap done already by now though. What are going to work on the squad inside the building? Just keep pushing in from the side here. The cap off somehow not in vision range. Instinct Overwatch dropped on the King Tiger now. Looking to buy some breathing room through the middle. Goes in for the ram as well. 
Doesn't penetrate, but just the uh, stun might be enough because the King Tiger is so low in health. Oh, the Panther takes a couple shots? No. Panther goes in. Trying to make a move. It's around the side of the SU-85. It's on focus side mode, so it's moving really slowly. T-34 does end up dying. Panther out the back here, doing some crazy stuff. 21 points left for the Axis, but they're making it work right now. Air Panzer driving through the anti-tank Overwatch. Gets in range to assist against the SU-85. And uh, that goes down, but this takes engine damage from one of the conscripts. Fresh SU-85 coming in from the Glory. Both of them have used the anti-tank Overwatches already, though. The Yak Panzer is really fast here. Zipping away. Might be able to kill this panther though, he's coming in. The Katusha in the middle stops the capture from the Axis. And the Shreddy 5 is pounding the rear armor. Oh, misses the kill shot. But the kitten doesn't. Diska tries to jam the capture but loses to the Dishka. And I think that'll do for the Axis. Barrage coming in there. Doesn't quite get the coverage he was hoping for, I don't think. And there we go. X is back on the drain. Pushing here. Looks like they're going to come into the middle to try and do something about this, but not working out too well. Decap off here. Enemy forces are capturing our supplies. Mm, it's not quite over yet. Army size wise, so the allies are way ahead. And uh there, okay, well <laughs> okay, the Kachisha just gets a bunch of kills. Uh that is that's too for sure at this stage. MG cut. Suppress the squad and light cover either to jam the decapture. This MG's rolling in to cap this as well. Wow. Can't believe that this machine gun can't suppress. Couldn't stop the cap there. Shooting at him the whole time. What's the combat you have in terms of received accuracy? All right, well, uh, yeah, there we go. Allies, just a uh, very strong start, very good control of the double fuels down this side and constantly harassing the cutoff. Slowed down the Axis tanks by a lot. Really hurt them and just a uh, strong control overall. But yeah, some uh, pretty shoddy tank plays from both the Allies. It seems like they were constantly getting their... SU-85s flanked or just driving them from like here head on somehow opening up opportunities for the Axis to come back into this game uh, not enough mines overall this game I think we only saw like one that I remember over here and it got a kill on a tank so maybe a bit more mining required on uh, probably both team's side ideally but yeah, some pretty good uh, dodging on the rocket artillery going both ways. Really mitigated the damage from that. Maybe the Axis, uh, maybe the Allies need to be, be a bit more aggressive. You know, they so much munitions this game. Could have used a few more anti-tank overwatches to uh, just zone. Maybe close the show a bit earlier. Zone out the enemy tanks. But yeah, uh, some uh, solid action there. Maybe it was close to a throw here when they made that like four T-34 push and they lost almost everything. Uh, I think they were just so far ahead they were pulled back in. And it's, you know, late game Soviets as well, typically quite efficient in terms of manpower. It does seem easier for them to rebuild after situations like that than with some of the other factions. But 
But yeah, I think overall, like maybe some of the support play lacking in this game as well, like uh, the glory kind of splitting up T3 force from SU85, SU85 having no support, no like, nothing that could defend it if it got flanked or anything. No sneers, no mines. Very, very risky stuff. And uh, as for SHT, the raquette positioning, underwhelming, not often in like a relevant position for the fights. Need to like if you know, if you're making a push with your infantry, bring the raquette up so that as soon as the enemy's vehicle starts shooting at your infantry, your raquette can return fire. You don't have to remember, react, move forwards, slow things down by like twenty seconds. By which time your squad might have to uh, retreat. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like, again, we cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.